So good morning everybody, welcome back to Eclipse Motorcycles out on the final ride of this before collection and this is going out to the customer later on today just the final ride, just to put the final few test miles just make sure everything is working effectively before we hand over that motorcycle now with these little riots there is no place to put an L-plate so we've had to put a side mounted L-plate that is fitted onto the front fork on that one so nice big L-plates to the front of this one and just getting a look in at final look at those wheels on that riot. I do love this bike. Those nice little three triple exhausts at the back. And of course that nice low tail hugger. Do love this riot. Absolutely gorgeous bike. And obviously if you've seen the Cypher is the electric version of this. But I do like this little riot. Absolutely perfect. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this out, put the final few miles on this bike. And have the final ride before I say goodbye to this riot. And I so love this little bike. So just putting the dash on. If you haven't seen the last few videos, time at the bottom, 7.30. We've done 9.2 miles, just a few more miles to put on. Fuel and your rev counter all there. A very simplistic controls on this. You've got your start button, your kill button across on the left. Indicators are at the bottom on this one rather than in the middle. Horn, hazard lights, main beam, dip beam and a pass light to the rear. Four speed box on this one. And as we said last time, with these mirrors on this right, they are small. You do get a good view of the road, but obviously some people do like a bigger mirror on these. So the ideal option is change your mirrors out. If you don't like the mirrors, get yourself a different mirror. So we're going to get this one out into traffic before the lights change. And we're going to go for it quickly. Get ourselves out into traffic. And we're going to run this one around town for a change. So obviously on the last video... You got to see me doing the green laning with the speeding cars. But for this one, we're just going to run it around town and just show you what this little bike is like when you run it around. And obviously, very, very small bike, very small seating position. But with the pegs being quite a way back, and I'd say they're about three inches back from mid position, I have got my knees tucked very, very nicely under that tank compared to the K-Lite that I rode yesterday where my knees were very, very high. But this handles like an absolute dream. I do love this little bike. And obviously with the four-speed box, you can get it through that gearbox very, very quickly and get yourself up to speed quite fast. So I do a little uh, commuter, something that you want to put on the back of your camper van if you want a petrol bike just to run around, stick a backpack on, pop down the shops or pop out and uh, do bits and pieces or even go to college very small very maneuverable gets through traffic absolutely perfectly and it, you can just literally throw this thing into corners it rides so nicely so I'm going to be glad, sad to see this go today actually both of our riots have gone we've got some more on order but obviously these are out of stock at the moment and uh, who can blame Lex Moto for coming out with a really, really good bike? Now obviously I compared this to the uh, similar bikes of another brand and uh, I'm talking Honda Grom M's, uh, Honda MX and the Benelli TNT. And obviously if you want to pay an extra couple of grand and get yourself a Honda Grom or a Honda MX then uh, go and do so. Benelli TNT is very overpriced for what it is. I was actually going to get myself a TNT when I first saw these on the market and I decided, mm, okay, let's go for it. Benelli TNT is very, very overpriced for what it is. And obviously this little Exmoto, it's just over the two grand. You are getting so much bike for your money. I absolutely love these little bikes. Really handles nicely pulls through the corners, pulls through the gears and our female customer that had the red one she absolutely loves it, she said I have never experienced such a good bike so it's good to know but obviously this one's going out to the customer later today so it's just down to me to do the final ride check everything is all working everything all present and correct and I'm happy to let this bike go what I will be doing is obviously every bike that comes into Eclipse or every bike we sell I have a very, very strict cleaning regime on it. So what I tend to do is uh, get it in, give it a nice wash down, get all the dirt off of it, dry it off with an airline, 
so it's absolutely perfectly dry and then I give it a coat of uh, my favorite product the ACF 50 which is your anti-corrosion anti-rusting compound and it also uh, works very well on all your panels you can use ACF 50 on your panels put a nice shine onto that bike and that will just waterproof the bike as well so I am a lover of ACF 50 and as a courtesy every bike that we do I give it a coat just to make sure that you're not going to get any rust but what I normally say is get yourself a can once a week or so go over all the points of your bikes all your nuts your bolts give it a little bit of ACF 50 and just make sure that you're uh, making sure that you're not going to get any corrosion on the bike and obviously I uh, I run an older bike I run a 96 Kawasaki and if you haven't seen the RB's bike that thing absolutely gleams every Sunday after a ride it gets jet washed, it gets dried off and then I ACF 50 the bike while doing my maintenance check on my chain, check my oil levels, check my radiators etc but that is something you should be doing as part of your maintenance regime if you're paying a lot of money for a bike then look after it, don't just leave it sat outside in the rain get yourself a cover, put it in your garage and obviously battery wise if you're not starting your bike at least a couple of times a week get yourself a battery optimizer very very cheap to get about 20 quid and then you, all you've got to do is connect the lead to the battery have the cable hanging somewhere out the way of the bike tucked under the seat or something when you pull up plug your optimizer in and we see the battery on mine is around about 90 pound I'm running a lithium ion on my uh, cracker and that is permanently optimised and obviously the batteries on these you can pick up a battery for one of these for about 30 quid but if you're doing that four times a year that equivalates to the price of a decent sized battery so I always say get yourself an optimizer a decent battery should last you at least two years before you start getting issues with it it might even last you longer so whatever you do uh, obviously to make sure that you're getting your maintenance regimes in that you're looking after your bike taking care of it and your bike should last you a lifetime and I just love how this little thing handles it it's just so smooth through those corners gets out of speed very quickly on the roundabouts as well and the lean angle on this you can just literally throw this thing around being a low bike and a smaller centre of gravity and a very low centre of gravity very very manoeuvrable I've got 11.6 miles on this I'm gonna get a few more on this and I'm just loving how this little bike handles around town on the dual carriage race and obviously this is a 40 mile an hour dual carriage race so it's ideal for me for my ride test mileage but very easy just to look down at that display and see exactly what is going on with the bike as well and obviously your servicing regimes and um, we always say Make sure you stick to your servicing regimes to keep yourself within your warranty. First service is due at 500 kilometres, 311 miles. And you should be doing 40 mile an hour up to that first service. We're trying to stick around about 40 to 45 mile an hour. Once you get your first service out of the way, and we charge 99.50 for a service. That's full bolt check, two lots of QCs by two separate technicians and a ride test as well just to make sure that the bike is operating effectively once you get that out of the way you're good to go to 50 mile an hour your next service then is going to occur at 1500 kilometers 932 miles once you get your second service out of the way number 99 pound 15 now some dealers charge different prices but for ours is a standard set price all across the board once you get your second service out of the way you are good to go to full speed and just coming in hard on that front brake just check that the braking system is effective which it is now obviously uh, a lot of other ride reviewers have said totally ignore what I say no you don't need to do that you can go straight to full speed um, and you can go straight to 60 mile an hour straight from getting the bike out the showroom total and utter BS Lexmoto state it in their documents and all their manuals this is what you need to do if Lexmoto didn't want you to do that they wouldn't issue with that document so whatever the other dealers are saying is absolute BS 
Now obviously I can't comment on uh, what other dealers want you to do, but that is what Lexmodo state, and I would say if the manufacturer stated that, this is what you need to do. It's like going to the shops and buying yourself a uh, £100 silk shirt and it says uh, cool wash only, do not wash with other colours, you're not going to put it in with your blacks and you're not going to boil wash the thing, so always follow the manufacturer's instructions and not what other people tell you. Never ever listen to all the random mumblings that you're going to get on Facebook or on the advice pages or from other people. Always go by what is said in that manual. That is the best advice that you can get. Follow the dealer instructions. And obviously I have seen bikes that have come in to us that have been bought from other dealers and uh, just to name one was the Isca that we had in about five weeks ago and uh, customer said oh I said are you suffering anything with the bike no no it's all good and uh, I've had it straight up to 60 as well I've actually got 67 out of it and I went right you've only got 311 miles on this bike you do know you're meant to stay at 40 well I was told I could go straight to full speed when the technician actually did that service the amount of swarf that we got out of that sump plug was unbelievable compared to a normal bike that's been running at 40 mile an hour so he was warned and said look you're getting a lot of uh, swarf coming out the bike and other people have said no no it's quite fine you can run it up to full speed because if you stick at 40 mile an hour you're going to blue the pistons and well blue in the pistons is only going to happen when the engine is getting really really hot and that is going to occur at higher speed not lower speeds you're going to get barrel scoring absolute twaddle you're not going to barrel score a bike sitting it at uh, standard revs at 40 mile an hour for the first running you've got to let these little bikes get in to its running in procedure so that is what we would always advise everybody to do but obviously when you uh, you start getting comments on other pages about the maintenance regime and no no they're talking absolute twaddle and they're talking out of their backsides go speak to Lexmoto or ask on the Lexmoto owners UK page the Facebook page because there are loads of Lexmoto riders on there and they will tell you exactly what you need to do to look after your bike so almost done on this ride test mileage and as usual this little uh, riot is absolutely lovely absolutely love this bike with this four speed box on it and the final little burst, I'm going to just take her up to 43 and then bring her back down to 40. Just to check she pulls through and she's got some extra acceleration there, which she has, and then just wind back on that throttle. So sitting at a nice steady 40 mile an hour for the purposes of running, which is what I do on all my videos. Take note. Slap on wrist if you don't obey the rules. So four more bikes going out this week. Titans have started to arrive. We've got uh, this one and we've got an LXR going out today. And tomorrow we've got an Echo going and then end of the week we've got that K-Lite going out. We have the uh, Tempest GT going out. And also coming through we've got ourselves a, a nice Royal Alloy 300. So I'm going to be going out and uh, doing the ride on the GP300 Royal Alloy scooter. So that's going to be quite an interesting ride on that one. Because obviously if you follow my page you know that I'm, uh, I don't mind riding them, but I'm not a lover of cruisers, I'm not a lover of uh, scooters either, but once I get on them they do put a smile on my face, personally I wouldn't buy one, but that Royal Alloy I would. But as for this little Riot, I absolutely love this, it is such a cute little bike. And the customer is going to be so happy with this. It is really, really nice. Even in fourth gear and just giving it some beans. It's got plenty of torque under that back end with these little wheels on it. And obviously green laning and taking it out on the country roads. Even better. Nothing better than just to stick a backpack on, whiz out, go to your local picnic site and just sit there, enjoy the view and enjoy being out on one of these. And you can tell I've got a smile on my face this morning. But this is so much fun. So as always, if you are interested in one of these, we uh, are getting more stock in of these on Eclipse Motorcycles 01908 643603. If you happen to live at the other end of the country and not Milton Keynes, 
easiest way to find yourself one of these lexmoto.co.uk pop on the lexmoto page up the top end right hand side find a dealer go into find a dealer drop your postcode in there and that will give you the six nearest dealers to you and i'm sure one of those will uh, either have one or know someone that's got one as dealers do talk to each other so find out what uh, you want obviously if you want a different bike just have a look obviously we're going to be advertising all the new stock on the uh, eclipse motorcycles when they come in and we're going to start building those bikes this week but uh, until then as always with all my videos leave us your comments down below i've been loving the comments that you guys have been asking me over the last uh, couple of days about bikes yes i do love answering your comments so thank you very very much if you are getting interactive with me as always easiest way to find all the stuff straight off my website redbomb.co.uk title page down the bottom end eclipse motorcycles you can find the links for their facebook direct number and also the websites on there all my social media on my social media page and this has been the lexmodo riot until the next time guys from rb be well ride safe and it's a big smiley goodbye from me